one way is actually is the recommendation is that you really diagnose it on exam. When you see it, you see the ulcer of herpes. It's generally a painful ulcer, one or many of them, depending on the person. And people come in and say, oh, these things and they really hurt. If I'm just sitting there, it hurts. Because generally what they say, it's not always the case. So your symptoms can be very variable. But the way we test for them is that if we have an ulcer that has some fluid in it, which is called a vessel, we can actually culture that and take that fluid and culture it. Now the culture, is, is when it's positive, it's positive, and that's very accurate. But the problem is sometimes it can come back negative, even if we didn't get enough fluid. So a negative isn't always a true, true negative. We can do antibody testing, but 80% of adult Americans have antibodies to type 1 herpes. And type 1 is the cold sore, fever, blisters, the one that everybody gets. Um, so we, we can't really give you an answer when 80% of people are already antibody positive. You know, but we can't tell you about type 2 um, for infections. We can only tell you six months after exposure. We can't tell you if you have any. Type 2 is the one that is uh, on the genome. Now, we can transmit type 1 to 2 and 2 to 1. There, you can give it back and forth. So I always tell my patients who have a cold sore, hey, be careful, don't share your drinks, you know, don't have oral sex. 